Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video. Hope you guys are all doing well. In today's video, I'll show you guys how I finished top 200 in the entire world in the Double Evolution Tournament. As you can see, upgrading my top Royal Tournament finish badge to level 4 on my mini account keepsakes. I was able to reach 30 wins on this account after choking at 25 and 5. One win away from a top 1k finish on my main account, Legendary Pop. I made this miraculous run from 25-4 on this account on the last day of the tournament. So I got this finish with Thruper Nexus Cycle, my favorite deck in the game, and as you guys can see, a 179 finish in the world. Very good finish. I'm very proud of this achievement. It's my best global tournament finish in quite a while. The most recent best one I had was 96 in the entire world in October. I also finished 189th in the world in the same tournament on a different account. Then I maxed my GT badge on SK555 in December, but this is my best one recently. So very proud to get this with through Pernexo Cycle in a pretty tough meta. Just made an amazing run and I played out of my mind, so I'm very proud of it. And I'm excited to show you guys the final games that got me there in today's video. So I hope you guys enjoy the matches and let's get right into things. Alright guys, I found a match against Artook Z. I'm at like 22 wins right now. In the GT, I just choked on Legendary Pop. I was 25 and 4, and then I was winning a game against uh, Giant Goblin Giant Sparky, I believe it was. And I just threw at the very end. It was so depressing. So I had a really tough loss, unfortunately. And like I was literally, his tower was at like 200 or something. And I just choked to a Little Prince Guardian raging on my tower like it was wild okay we're up against royal giant this is really bad it looks like because he has ghost after i saw ghost and arrows i was hoping it would be like some kind of bridge bam that would be pretty decent for me honestly my matchups have been sort of okay so far um in this gt i'd say but after seeing royal giant here this is not looking good he has looks like he has cycle cards in this deck as well so rg cycle with arrows does not look great at all because obviously arrows does an amazing job at shutting down my archers and i feel like through pinox with cycle you know i say this all the time but I feel like Thrupano is not in the best spot right now, because uh, someone put it pretty well. One time I heard someone say that this deck performs best when the game is in a very balanced state. And I feel like with double evolutions, the game is tending towards a more unbalanced state, and so Expo is just going to perform worse. Double evolutions does help this deck out quite a bit. We have Evo Archers, one of the best Evos in the game, and Evo Skellies too. Both are really good, but it's just that Expo itself is not a super strong win con, so obviously I feel like... It's kind of an uphill battle uh, playing the deck. I get a lot of you guys in the comments saying, I can't believe I chose Expo. I feel stuck. I, like, I'm like i ready to give up, and I feel bad for you guys. But I'm always going to be here playing Expo Cycle, and I'm never going to give up on this deck. It's my favorite deck in the game, and I have so many good achievements with it. I'm very proud of them, and I love just trying to improve and help you guys improve as well. Uh, so hopefully just, just hang in there, stick uh, with it guys for all of you who are still struggling like you're all gonna make it if you put in the work It's a very tough deck to play but very rewarding at the top level as well I'm gonna try and fireball the fisherman. Okay speaking of top level that was anything but top level I just missed the entire fisherman. I might get punished big time right now. Oh my god That was a really bad fireball dude. He goes evo rg and just spam cycle cards in the back I'm gonna have to do something to survive here I feel like i'm literally about to die because that was a really bad fireball. I don't see how i'll live this Well, he can't kill my evil archers. Actually, i'm gonna be fine um, he does arrows. I'll go Tesla. Actually, that wasn't really necessary, but I wanted to be safe, I suppose. Um, but yeah, Evo Archers are pretty good because they do survive arrows, as you guys can see. So that's a really nice trait of them. You definitely want to get around to them as much as you can. So you'll see me splitting archers a lot. Uh, since he has arrows, splitting archers gets quite a bit of value. He just fireball cycles on one archer, which is a pretty good play, but I will just fireball back. That's the only real play I have. Because if I go Expo, he'll just get a free RG on it, and that'll fully shut it down, so... RG matchups, guys, unfortunately, you can't really go Expo that much. Of course, you're going to try and get Expo locks if you can. Oh, wait, am I going to die here? Wait, Evo Scalers are going wild. Um, I have to log on defense here and get back to something. Okay, I'm going to go Knight. Oh, my God, the Evo Scalers are still alive. Are you serious? Okay, am I going to die here? Like, for real, I'm going to go with Skellies as well. Okay, my Evo Scalers kind of saved me, guys. Oh, my God, because his Evo Scalers were going absolutely crazy, wreaking havoc. I, th I literally thought it was it. I, I literally said, like, is it over? Like, three times there, but I guess I survived just because my own... Uh, evo cycling was pretty efficient i was able to get back to them just in time but this is bad because i'm down like 400 now and i don't really see it uh very feasible to come back when he has arrows as well so he can literally like arrow cycle if he wants yeah he is oh my god he's doing it and that does more damage than a log i think the only play i have is defensive expo to try and go into an offensive expo like i really need to get a lock i don't know if i can like he's just spell cycling and i can't really blame him because that's what he's supposed to do but this is just so frustrating because like what am i supposed to do i can't 
do anything against this uh, playstyle, and he has arrows, so, like, it's literally <laughs> pretty much a terrible spot. He does go for a fireball, I'm gonna try and punish right now, this is, like, all I can do. Uh, get the expo going, okay, he goes fisherman, let me try and kill everything, goes evil scalers, let me log that as well. Uh, e-spirit comes down, and I'm gonna kill it, oh my god, I get a lock somehow. By some miracle stroke of luck, I get a connection. I think he just didn't want to waste his RG on the expo, and that was his big misplay right there, because if he went RG, I legit think I would have lost this game, but great punish by me that's like as you guys can see if you're in a really bad spot the only thing you can do is try and create an insane amount of counterplay and that's basically what i did just now by going for the defensive expo into offensive expo building up a huge offensive onslaught um hopefully that arjun get hit on my tower please okay it does not and i think we won guys because i can just start fireballing i can go evil archer super high up so we can't fireball them and the tower and they'll just get a lot of value by staying on the board surviving the arrows of course he does just fireball not hitting the tower so or not hitting the archers rather so, I actually think we somehow won this game, guys. That was a wild comeback. Like, defensive expo into offensive expo is a very nice play against RG, because even though they can RG on your expo, if they somehow decide not to, I guess, like, they're just going to uh, die. So, I can't believe it, guys. Okay, it was a good game. I kind of feel bad. I was saying thanks. I'll give the good game back. But I just can't believe... Okay, it was a well-played. He's actually been a good sport, so I feel kind of bad that I was BMing. I'll give him the good luck for the rest of the tourney. But that was an insane comeback against a really bad matchup. Like... RG with arrows is definitely not easy. I'm so proud of that one. That was a really good comeback. Alright guys, so in a match against Francis, has a 503 ladder finish and he's in sunlight. This is Mohammed Light's clan, I think, so should be a pretty interesting match here. Uh, bats, I'm gonna fireball. This is a bit risky, but I feel like I usually see bats in like minor wall breakers, so it should be an okay enough play to go for. Okay, yeah, knight looks like it's going to be minor wall breakers, I think, because Evo Bats, Evo Knight. I'll just go knight the back myself. And we should be all right here. Wait, balloon? Okay, I was not ready for that. Wait, that was a really bad fireball, guys. I am already starting to regret that fireball, because this is why you can't make super risky plays. I don't even know why I did that. Like, it's literally the GT. I cannot afford... Okay, he goes pre-arrows, and that hits my archer somehow. I spaced them really far. I'm going to take two balloon hits here. I have to fireball the balloon back. But it's raged up. It's angry, and that's going to be two drops on... Oh, no. Did I already lose this game are you serious oh my god that feels so bad but honestly guys learn from my mistake that was a really bad fireball and i even give you guys this advice myself i just didn't follow it like don't be too aggressive and single don't do stuff without knowing what they have like i never just go expo tesla the bridge i don't know why i would go fireball honestly that was a really bad play um i did i don't think i had anything great in hand for the bats but that still doesn't really excuse that option i'll go back for my archers as opposed to fireballing or teslaing on this actually i didn't have a fireball but as opposed to going for a tesla on this balloon i elected to cycle back to my archers because i wanted to cycle to my evo as fast as i can like i'd like to try and get some evo action going as fast as i can i need to build counter play again like same as the rg match except this time i missed down a ton right off the bat because i made a terrible first play of the game low-key got starting handed by bats but it's still on me i could have done something else still i'll go expo i have evo skellies if he goes like anything um lp i'll go log on this and then evo skellies to kill all of that this should maybe get me a tiny expo lock no he has a rage Oh my god, guys, that was a really bad play. I am kind of tilted right now, low-key. Like, I'm not playing the best. And, uh, I, I don't know. Like, that was a severe miscalculation on my end. He even has, like, the rage and arrows. Like, he has pretty good spells, honestly, to kill my stuff. Low-key, I feel like this should be a much better situation. If I didn't mess up in single, I'd be okay with this matchup. But, I mean, I, I don't like arrows, but only because of evil archers, I'm okay with them. But, like, now it's just not looking good. Good Ice Spirit, though, to predict the LP. He's going to go ability. See, LP is such a problematic card for Expo as well, because it just invalidates the Expo pretty much. I do take it out, though. I think I can maybe go in. I'll go Knight to protect this evil archer. Archer's up high, and then Expo immediately, because he's going to go... Yeah, he's going to overcommit to this. Goes for the minor rage, so... LP does come down, I'll Tesla high up, Evo bats, but the LP's gonna die, so I'll get a small lock here, right, because he's not gonna go ability, he does, but, wait guys, I swear that's the first time I've ever seen that ability come down, and it not tank for the expo, I swear that always tanks for the expo, so I guess, they decided to bless me by giving me a small expo lock, they know I have to come back, like nobody's business in this game, he does get a lot of damage in the right, but I cannot afford to overcommit to that, so I just let it go, and I think I just have to pre-Tesla, okay, he goes for the expo, yeah, pre-Tesla was the right instinct there, Minor, I'll just go in now. He goes arrows as well. He's pr committing a lot on offense, honestly. Like, he is spending quite a bit. I do have my evil archers in here, too. I could maybe make something happen here. They're going to melt that LP, right? Yeah, they're going to melt it before he can go ability. Beautiful. I think I'll get a lock here. Oh my god, we got a lock. Let me knight to protect. He has to loon. I'll fireball it back if he does. I have to fireball because that's, like, all I can really do um, to maximize this expo connection. If I let it hit, get a hit on the expo, it's dead. So we are actually back in this game, guys. I don't know how, but 
we did a crazy like comeback and i don't know what's with me in comebacks today like literally that uh game just now against rg and now this one like i'm just playing crazy um i'm not playing crazy at all to be in the deficit but i'm playing crazy to come back guardian should die and then that'll lock onto tower right oh my god it does and then tesla will kill the balloon i just need two fireballs He's not back to Lunin cycle. I think I'll literally just go for the double fireball right now. Like, that's all I can really do. So, fireball number one. And, uh, just need to defend. Just need to not lose a tower on this next push. I'll Evo Scalies for the miner. Log and then knight to tank as well. And then fireball, please get down in time before it kills my tower. Please. And, oh my god, guys. We actually came back. He gives a good game. I'll give it back. I'm not going to BM. That was an insane comeback. What's with me and, like, coming back today? That's insane. 24 wins. Still not a badge. I need two more for a secured badge, but I can't believe it, guys. I'm actually playing really crazy right now. Alright, guys. Found a match against what looks to be a Chinese player? Japanese. Japanese player, I think. I can kind of tell a few character differences, although they look pretty close. Um, but he does go for the ghost the back. Okay, I'll just Tesla. Honestly... I did lose to P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Bam, guys. Like, I really don't think it's that great of a matchup anymore. Um, obviously, standard P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Bam is a pretty good matchup for us as Expo players, but now they started running Evos, and with double Evos, yeah, this guy has Knight Archers. I lost to the same deck, like, Knight Archers Little Prince. Like, literally, what can you do to break through? You cannot break through this deck physically. He has an LP as well, yeah. This is definitely going to be P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Bam, guys, and I don't feel great about this matchup because of the reasons I just stated. Like, it's literally just going to be a very annoying, unfun um, like, defense match. Like, I don't think I can ever expo. I'll try and break through at some point, because you kind of have to. Like, that's the playstyle it was always like for P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Band back in the day. But at this point, like, you can't really, um, do that anymore because they have so many ways to defend you. They have LP, of course. That's like a free instant shut expo down button right there. Like, LP just making annoying, uh, situations even more annoying because you can never break through that card. Evo Knight does not make things any better because P.E.K.K.A. is a huge tank for the Expo. Evo Knight is as well, so, like, I can't do much about that card either when he has it in cycle. Then Evo Archers, they're really good against Expo as well, actually, because they basically force out a Fireball. If you don't Fireball the Evo Archers, they're going to get infinite value on the map. And they even contribute to offensive pressure pretty well at the same time. I don't think I can fireball that. I'd love to, but I'll just chill and uh, I'll split my Evo Archers, I guess. Tesla should take care of the LP. If he goes ability, I have my Evo Skellies in hand, so they're okay. Um, I think I'll go Expo right now. Like, I don't really see a better time to... Okay, I misplaced it by one. That is really bad. But he should be okay. I'll go Ice Spirit for the Ghost. Um, he goes for his own Evo Knight. I really do wish I didn't misplace that, guys, but maybe I can get something happening with these Evo Skellies. Let me log Evo Skeletons. Oh my god, I think I choked in the same way I choked against the first guy. I tried to be too aggressive, and it failed. Yeah, this has... How am I going to defend this? I have no idea. I'll have to Tesla for the ram. Like, if I let that connect, it's over. I have to log all of this. I think Pekka's going to get hit on the Tesla, though. No, it's not. Okay. Skeletons for this. Evo Archer gets two hits. Guys, I'm down, like, ten elixir, but I somehow survived. I don't know how I pulled that defense out. Like, that was wild. Um, but this is the problem, like, I tried to go in, I had the perfect cycle, I had Evo Archers, Evo Skellies, and I just can't break through, because he has Evos too, like, it's just so frustrating, um, and this is, like, what the meta shift is looking like for Expo, like, everyone is running these good Evos in the game, and it's just making it even harder to break through for us, it's really tough, honestly. I'll Fireball, I think I want to take the LP out, and that's decent chip on the RAM as well, I mean, I don't know what to do other than Spell Cycle, legit, like, I, I can never get an Expo lock in this matchup, like, ever. Unless he pre-cycles a P.E.K.K.A., which he's never done. He hasn't played a single P.E.K.K.A. yet, except to defend my Expo, which is pretty smart. Like, that's all he really has to do. I guess I'll stack Teslas. I don't know what else to do other than full defend. I could try and fireball that LP, but I think I'll let it go because I have an evil Archer coming down. Knight to protect it? No, that doesn't work out, unfortunately. Um, I'll... Okay, Evo Knights. This is going to be a big uh, punish coming in for him. Skeletons first. Log everything back. He does fireball. I have to get back to a knight somehow. Like, this is looking rough. He goes for the ram as well. Tesla, this is very standard stuff. Evo Archers, oh my god, am I dead? Evo Skellies might help me out big time. Yeah, he zaps in the middle, perfect. Really good for me that he zapped there. Evo Skellies will get a lot of value. Look at them go, guys. This is why I love that card, because Evo Skellies really do help you out when you need it most in a lot of matchups, actually. Like, they really just help you on defense. They can get, like, plus fives, plus six trades. I think that was at least, like, a plus four. And without that... I probably would have been absolutely screwed, so... God bless Evo Skeletons. Let me log all of this. Skeletons to protect the Tesla doesn't really work out. He does Fireball. Oh, he hit the tower as well. That was a really... 
uh, good fireball by him, bad fireball for me, but I'll fireball back. That's all I can do. I literally just have to spell cycle back. I cannot see any other counterplay to this situation. Offensive Expo, you guys saw, I had the perfect timing to go Offensive Expo, and nothing really worked out. Like, he defended, he got a huge counter push, I almost lost the game off of that, so... I think just Expo is a dead card in this matchup, legitimately. He does Fireball in the middle, that's really good for me, actually, because it means I can probably... Actually, I won't Fireball back yet, but it means I can, like, get away without needing to spend anything. Wait, after Night for the Ghost, please don't hit the tower, please? Okay, if that hit the tower, I would have lost the game. That was so clutch, oh my god. Um, Evo Skellies are in the business, I'll... Or, I was gonna say in the building and in business at the same time. I said in the business, but they're there. I'll Fireball back. I think I won, guys. Wait, he Fireballed the left, right? So, he can't Fireball... Uh, me out. I get back to a second fireball, as does he, and I actually come out on top somehow, some way. That was such clean defense, guys, and again, that's how you have to play this matchup. I know it kind of sucks, but that's all you can do in this matchup, because you can never break through. Like, the one time I tried, I got punished for it, so I guess it's still an okay matchup, but, like, I don't think it's that great. I lost it earlier. If they pressure well, it's really tough, and it's still tough to defend, but somehow I was able to get away with that, so that was really nice. That's going to be 25 wins, guys. Really good stuff, but still not a bad yet. I need one more, so let me try and lock in and get the final win. Alright, guys, I am 25-4 and four now. I lost again, so it is literally down to the wire. I could literally just be making this video for nothing right now. Luckily, Legendary Pop I actually was, you know, recording my games on Legendary Pop, and I just got screwed over and choked at the end. I, just, I still posted, like, World's Biggest Choke, but I'm not going to make a full video out of me choking, like, one off a GT win. A GT finish, it's kind of sad. Okay, I don't know how to feel about this, guys. Like, Giant Barb's Arrows. Loki looks like a terrible start to this, because Giant Barb's Arrows... I don't like the look of that Evo Bats too. If this is Giant Graveyard, I might just like throw my phone out the window or something. Like if I get Giant Graveyard when I'm one win away from a GT badge, I swear to God. I really did want a GT finish on this account as well. Like I've wanted to upgrade my minis for a while. I have a GT emote on my other one, so I'll try and upgrade that sometime. But like I have wanted to get one uh, here on Keepsakes. I kind of like this account quite a bit. So Minion Horde, okay. Wait, it's not going to be Graveyard because it's Minion Horde. That's a really good sign then. Since his name is Spark... Spark God. I am tempted to say it's going to be Sparky. I don't know for sure. He go actually, Okay, this is going to be Sparky. Alexa will opposite instantly. This might be a bad play because my Tesla is about to die, but I think it's an okay one. And the game plan right now, guys, is save Knight for the Sparky and defend this giant with non-Knight cards because Knight is the one thing that can like defend a Sparky for pretty cheap. Like, it's a 3 for 6. It will full defend that Sparky. That's my goal right now. Evil Archers are here, so let me go for those as well. I have to log. Oh god, I really have to log and skeleton just in case that gets a hit. Okay, did not need the skeletons, but you can never really be too safe. He does arrows off the archers, so that was still not really a negative elixir trade. We did survive that big push, and that was okay pressure by me. I mean, I forced out a lot of stuff, and I somehow defended. Like, it's not really about the pressure in this matchup. It's about how you can defend afterwards, because you can pressure fine, but can you defend after? My cycle's kind of bad. I'm going to expo, maybe, to predict him going something in the back. I really hope I get it off. Let me go for the expo right now. And he goes sparking in the back. Oh, that's perfect, guys. He can't get a giant in time. That was literally quite literally the most perfect timing I ever could have gotten, because... Uh, he ha had four elixir, exactly. Like, he dropped the Sparky so late. Okay, I'm gonna pre-cycle Archers first. I'm gonna have to defend, like, my life depends on it, because it literally does. If I lose this defense, I lose the game. So, he's gonna go Arrows. I'm waiting for him to waste the Arrows, then I'll go Evo Skellies. Okay, right about now, and Knight as well, for this. Evo Skellies should help on defense. I'll fireball all the Evo Bats. Look at Evo Skellies putting in work, guys. Oh my god, they actually clutch so well. I think I actually defended... Okay, wait, this is Evo Bars. This is still looking pretty bad. Um, let me Archers first again. The principle is always Archers first, because I'm playing Evo Archers. I want to get back to my Evo as fast as I can. That's definitely a huge fireball, too. As you can see, I'm like rapid cycling amongst my Evo, so I'm already back to Evo Archers. I'm down like five. But at least I was able to defend that. And Evo Skellies, you guys can see why I'm using Evo Skellies in this deck now, right? They put in so much work. Like, I feel like Knight would be okay, but Evo Skellies are just a game changer. And uh, Titan's the one who kind of pioneered this. He is also, like, top 50 in this GT right now, by the way. So that's proof if you can... Like, if he can do it, anyone can. And that's not saying he's bad. Like, he's amazing. But I'm just saying, like, he's inspirational for 3.0. Oh, hold on. Wait, the mini P.E.K.K.A. Please don't get another hit. And... Okay, just barely does. And if he got another hit... I might have lost the game. Dude, this is so close. Like, I was... Okay, if I, didn't, if I didn't get that lock, I think I would have lost the game. I want to fireball that, but I won't, because I know he has a lot of fireball bait in this deck, including the minion horde. So I'm just going to play super patient, guys. I was impatient in my choke against Goblin Giant last time, so I'm going to make sure I don't make the same mistake. going to go Evo Skellies right now. They should go to work. And the arrows... 
Okay, the arrows do clip everything. I was going to hope, like, one would survive. I'll knight as well to protect the evil archers. I think it's not worth letting them die. And I think I can go for the double fireballs, guys. Like, this is two fireballs, two logs. That's the range I'm in right now. Um, okay, I have to Tesla first, and then Ice Spirit to protect. I think I'll YOLO the two fireballs, two logs. Yeah, that's two fireballs, two logs. Let me just go for it right now. Oh my god, I think I won, guys. I can't believe it. That's going to be a GT finish secured, right? Yes, let's go. 207 is enough. That's going to be it. Thank god we beat this guy. That was really not a great matchup, I think. I mean, fireball arrows. Like, that's wild, but we beat him. Let's go. That's going to be 26 wins, guys. And as per the leaderboard right now, I am checking. That is 793 in the world. So, really good stuff. Wonderful win. Almost lost out, but I was able to clutch and get the finish. All right, guys. No time to waste for our next game against CR Juanito. I am 26 and 4, but I still have one loss to give. So, I'm just going to keep playing till I lose out. Even if I lose right now, I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders because, like, the previous stress was can I get the GT finish? Can I get 26 wins? Now that I have it, I don't really care if I lose. Of course, I'd love to get a decent finish. I don't know if I'll beat my 393 or whatever it is right now. That's a pretty high finish. But, um, of course. There's just, like, even if I lose that, at least I got the top 1k, you know what I mean? So, yeah, top 1k with 3.0 feels amazing as well, by the way. But, uh, let me just ice spirit to cut this over. I don't know what this is, honestly. This guy has, like, a top 100 finish as well, so he obviously knows what he's doing. He's not messing around. Should I be scared right now? Um, Ewiz, I'll let that go. No point over committing to one Ewiz hit is totally fine. Pekka Skelly's Ewiz. Well, I hope it's not Pekka Bridge Bam with Evo Skelly's in there to fasten the cycle. That would be... Really annoying, actually. I'll go split archers again. Let's see what he does. He's not back to Pekka. I've outcycled it. This is the beauty of going in and single, guys. You can outcycle their big tanks and counter. So I'm going to go Expo right now. Exe does come down. I think I'll log it last second. I love this play, guys. Catching them off guard with a last second log. Beautiful play. Gets me a big lock. Let's go. Can I ice for it as well? Okay, he has archers in this deck. I really don't know how to feel... Or arrows, rather. Really don't know how to feel about this matchup. I don't know what it is. It could be, like... Pekka Balloon Exe NATO. That's what it feels like, honestly. Um, but we do have a 1k damage lead, so this is how, like, single elixir is supposed to go if you play optimally. I have double evos. They look kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Like, having two evos in your hand does look cool. Um, that's one thing I'll say. But I'll split the evo arches right now. I think that's the safest play. I want to hold on to my scalies as much as I can. I, th I feel like just fireballing that, honestly. Am I crazy for doing that? I think it'll be fine, because that's a pretty good fireball. It'll kill that e -whiz, um with this evil archer and then evil archer will counter push too he goes exe yellow expo because he can't afford a pekka in time and uh i wish i didn't misplace it what's with me i'm playing a bit nervous i guess misplacing but i'll go evil skellies right now they will go crazy force up the zap or arrows okay he goes arrows wait i don't even know if he has a zap does he did i see one i, I don't even know i feel like arrow zap is such a common uh, combination but i don't know if i saw one yet anyways he forced up the arrows and we got a huge lock in the right like this is pretty much the perfect situation that you would want to go into from single elixir guys like take notes if you want to if you're playing against like beatdown decks like this is how you want to play single to get a huge lead okay it is going to be graveyard not too surprising considering he had arrows i'll go archers he gives a good game oh he activates king oh my god that is a terrible set of arrows even if he didn't activate king though guys i would still be up like 1.2k so that's not going to win me the game like i still definitely i think i'm in a great position but that pretty much much secures the game now because he's not going to break through when he activated my king tower okay i think i'll fireball it's a bit late but i feel like i could maybe get some last minute action going yeah he does go for the uh opeka okay he does go for the peck on time if he didn't that would have been a lock that was a nice last second fireball honestly i was debating logging too but i didn't okay i'll cycle back to my evo scalies i'll expo tesla and then evo scalies that was a really efficient play guys because i basically am getting a plus six on that pekka right now and i'm able to go full offensive in the left as well so that was a really nice sequence by me that should be good game he goes arrows but yeah that is pretty much good game i'll fireball and that is going to be range of yeah one more fireball log or like two logs and a fireball either way that is ggs he calls it as well so let's go. That is really good stuff, guys. We got another win. Okay, we still have an Evo Knight Graveyard to defend. Hold up. But this is not going to take the whole tower. I have a King Tower activated. Like, I am pretty chill. I'll Ice Spirit too. Um, I could go, like, the double Fireball route, I guess. I think that's the safest play. Like, there's no point going two logs in a Fireball. Even though that's more efficient and optimal. Like, with my cycle right now, I'm literally just going to go for the double Fireball. Okay. Pekka. Oh, but it goes behind the E. Was very unfortunate for him. That's going to screw him over big time. Going to be very nice for me, of course. NATO's everything in. That's fine. I'll go Knight as well. 
65. That's a fireball, and that's GG. Honestly, props to this guy. He was a really good sport. So, give him the well played as well, and the firecracker heart, because he was like a really good sport, honestly. Like, he gave good game well played early. Um, he said well played when I got a lock. Like, props to that guy. That's going to be 27 wins, guys, and the rank is 533 in the world. Wow, that that's really nice. There's 13 minutes left in the GT. I just kind of have to go, honestly. Like, I don't really have any time to waste, so let me keep going. Let's keep the matches going. Alright guys, so in our game against SWL, there is no time to waste. I think I have time for just three, just about three more matches. There's like 13 minutes left in the tourney right now. So three more matches should be enough, I think. Um, like two five-minute games at the worst will still leave me with about two minutes left to queue. So I think I'm good. Um, let's see, what is this going to be? Wallbreakers, bats, uh, a log as well. Minor wallbreakers probably. Spears in the left. Okay, I'll just knight to match the spears. Minor Wallbreakers is not a great matchup whatsoever. He goes for the Miner. Um, I think I'll stack Archers and then Expo off of this push. Let's see if he goes for a March on this Knight. I'll Tesla in case. Okay, he does not. Oh, terrible Knight, I feel. Um, he doesn't have a Knight for this Expo now. Isn't he in trouble? Because um, he doesn't have a Knight to tank for it. Like, delivery. Okay, go Skelly's Log. Wait, I swear I tapped the Log. It didn't come down. Oh, that's really unfortunate, guys. I think if I got that down... I probably would have gotten a lock there. Like, you, you probably saw with my finger hover thing that I use in my screen recordings. I did try and go for a log as well, but I just didn't get it down. Uh, I guess my bad. Like, my finger must have missed it just barely. But still, good news he has delivery. Honestly, that's, that's wonderful news, because delivery is a really bad card against Expo. I'll definitely take that. I'll split my arches right now as he goes for the minor. Okay. Um, I think I'll just Expo. I should have an Evo Archer counter pushing for this, so should be okay. Ice Spirit as well. Does go for the bomb tower. I think I can still get a lock. I'll log the knight back. I think this should still be a lock because I have the evil archer helping out. It'll get, it'll get one hit on the bomb tower. Bad spear goblin's placement. If you place them correctly, they would have taken the expo out. But since he messed up, we're going to be big chilling. I'll go knight. It's a huge overcommit to one wall because it's literally a minus two for me. But I just don't want to waste my evo scalies. You know what I mean? Like I feel like they, they're destined for, for much greater things. So yeah, I'll hold on to them. As he does go for the miner in the back. Yep. Usually when they have a counter push, guys, they're going to minor the back. So nice prediction on my end. Evo Skelly's kind of melted that. And then just fireball the Evo Bats. Honestly, against Evo Bats, all I really do is fireball them if he has like a big push coming like that. Because if you don't, uh, you don't know what's going to happen. Like they can really lose you the entire game sometimes. Okay, just missed my Ice Spirit timing by like 0.5 seconds. Very unfortunate. I'll let these Wallbreakers connect. Knight to protect my own Tesla. And he goes for a minor. I'll have to get back to a pair of Archers for this just to be safe. And I think I can go in again, because he just uses Evo Knight, right? So, okay, good Knight on his end. I'll actually just Fireball Cycle. Now I'll get the perfect timing, as you guys can see. You want to let one Spear Goblin lock on, and then go Ice Spirit. That'll only result in one Spear hit, I believe. Uh, Tesla Skelly's good catch on the Miner. Again, Knight here. Okay, he's going for some dual lane shenanigans. I'll Ice Spirit again. And we are still in the lead right now, and I have my Evo Archers ready to punish. I believe he has his Evo Knight as well, though, so this is not going to be, like, the freest uh, punish right now. He is going to go split wallbreakers. Okay, he goes for the poison. First time he used that card the whole game, I believe. Definitely going to expo right now. And then just fireball those bats. This should be a lock, I think, because he committed so much, right? Like, he's going wallbreakers opposite too. There's no way he gets away with this. Evo Skelly's as well, by the way. Skelly's would not full counter there, but Evo Skelly's will. Love to see it. Going to expo again in the right. He should be preoccupied defending this expo in the left. And uh, should have to overcommit. Yep, bats is enough for me, honestly. Okay, Expo on the left is connected, so while my Expo on the right is kind of forcing stuff out, I'm going to focus back on the left one, and this is the beauty of dual lane Expo pressure, guys. It's just whittling away at his tower as he's trying to defend the right Expo, but my left one basically won me the game already, so yeah, that's pretty much good game. That's a huge lock. Game-winning connection. All I have to do is defend well, and I'm going to call it as well. Yeah, he gives up. That's a really nice uh, game, guys. As you guys can see, uh, against decks like these where they don't have a log or something to chip you out, dual lane expo pressure is amazing because you really spread their elixir thin. If they overcommit like this guy did, you can punish them and get away with some immaculate punishes, which is exactly what I did there. So, oh my god, I can't believe, guys, I'm just popping off. 28 wins now. Let's go. I'm gonna... I, the leaderboard isn't updating for some reason, so I can't check my rank, but I think I just have to keep going in. I can't risk out on missing my game. So let me queue for the next matches. Alright guys, so in a match against LF, I don't know what my ranking is, but I'm pretty sure I'm in the top 500 because I was uh, 533 after getting 27 wins. So like, I'm definitely going... After getting one more win, definitely going up at least 33 spots. Probably like, I was in like the top 400-ish or so. Um... But Tombstone, okay, that doesn't look too bad for me. Tombstone Bats. I don't know what this is, but uh, 
I feel like, okay, my mind always jumps to worst case scenarios, and I feel like if it was giant graveyard, you know, absolute worst case scenario, it would not be a tombstone. He does have arrows. Let me just expo to find out what he has. Barbs, I think I'll fireball that. I reacted a little bit late because I was like processing in my mind, do I want a fireball? And I decided, yes, I will. Let me get back to my archers. He just went for arrows, so he cannot arrows off these archers. Um, I don't want to waste a Tesla. I think it would be better not to. So I'll just get back to archers. As a result as well, by the way, because of my playstyle, you guys noticed I did this against the minor balloon player as well. Uh, by cycling to archers like this, I'm actually able to get back to my Evo pretty efficiently. So I'm a pretty big fan of it. Goes Tombstone. I feel like he should have just gone Lava Hound, because uh, this is definitely Lava Hound, and I'm down like 4 or 5 Elixir. He kind of lost a big Elixir lead by going Tombstone, I guess, because I'm going to ignore that, not going to do anything. Um, I'll just knight the back. I think that's the safest play to make, just to cycle, sort of. Um, it'll also like help tank against whatever he plays. Of course, my cycle's really messed up, because I went for Archers like really late just now. Um, yeah, wow, my, I'm 4 away from Archers. I have to cycle back to them somehow. I'll Ice Spirit for these bats. I think I have to get back to my Evo Archers, guys. I can't defend this without them, so... I'll go Evo Skellies to get back to them, and let's go Evo Archers, I guess. Like, I don't really have a choice. So let me just go Archers to melt all of this. That's gonna do a pretty good job. Does Snowball... Oh, Snowball Arrows. Okay, I'll have to Knight. That would be a lot of damage otherwise. That would be at least, like, 500 more, I want to say. So that's why I went Knight. I'm debating going for a Tesla. I think I will. Yeah, I'll Tesla to kill the Mega Minion. Okay, I wish I didn't wait so long to do that, because now my Tesla's gonna take an unnecessary swing. But it's fine, I'll just expo to pressure with it. Oh, goes Lava, same time. Hopefully can't get Barbs down in time. If he doesn't, then I win. Okay, he still doesn't get Barbs down in time. I think that was uh, voluntary, though. I think he chose to do that. Let me rapid cycle back to a Tesla. Skeleton, super early, because I know I have to get back to a Tesla. Tesla, Fireball for the Evo Bats. Again, that's a play I make against Evo Bats. Ice Spirit as well. Back to a new pair of Archers right now. I have to get them down. I think I defended, and I think I won, guys. Yeah, let's go. That was so clean. Oh, my God. That was beautiful. He basically went all in, trying to, uh, like, tower trade, which was a pretty smart idea, actually. But thankfully, I was able to get some really good defense. Again, Lava Hound, I've said this in my videos before, guys, but Lava Hound is truly one of my best matchups, so I do feel great about it. Oh, he's kind of sad. I feel bad, because, like, yeah. I mean, people have been really good sports, to be honest. Like, no one really BM'd me. I think, like, one guy BM'd me that really tilted me, but otherwise, like, even the people that IBM first, they were like, good game, well played, and I was like, I feel really bad, I'm sorry for being a tilted bad sport. But, yeah, you know, props to everyone for being nice in the GT today, I don't know why everyone high up is being nice. GG's to this guy, that's gonna be 29 wins, guys, oh my god, I'm actually just popping off right now. 29 wins, as per the leaderboard, is going to be 255 in the world, pretty much top 250, that's amazing. Four minutes left in the GT, I have time to queue for one game, let's get it. Alright guys, this is the final- Oh my god, we're against Spark God again. Okay, this is the same exact dude I played against him, if you guys remember, for my uh, top 1k secured. I guess he got up there too. He he must have been at the same wins as me. Then he won all the way up here, and now we're like here for a final fight to the finish. Final match of the GT with like 4 minutes left. Okay, he's trying to like starting hand me. What is this man doing? He goes, Barb's giant mini P.E.K.K.A. I'll Knight Ice Spirit and back to a new pair of archers if he goes arrows right now. He does. I'll get back to the archers though. That was a really clean defense and I don't know what he was doing respectfully. Like, what in the world? I mean, that was pretty funny, I guess. Like, he just... I think he just tried to starting hand me, honestly. But uh, with Expo, unless you have an absolutely terrible starting hand, you're usually fine in these situations. Like, they can't really screw you over that badly. So, I think I did okay. Um, I'm still going to be in a deficit by 4 HP, but, like, that's really not a big deal. Let's be real. So, let me just log all of this. Or, not all of that. Let me just log to cycle. There's nothing I hit with that log. I don't know why I'm saying that. Uh, split skellies, and then I might expo. Low-key, guys, I'm going to leak. Because this hand is really awkward. I know for a fact he's playing Sparky. I just played against him, so... And it was full deck. It's the Sparky Minion Horde uh, Fireball Arrows deck. Which I honestly do feel is not the best matchup for me, because he has Fireball Arrows. But I could be mistaken. Um, low-key, one thing that stands out to me in this matchup is the fact that Evo Skellies go absolutely wild. If I can bait out arrows, he has nothing to kill Evo Skeletons, because Fireball is, like, it's not gonna hit all of them, honestly. And it's a minus three anyways. But yeah, back to what I was saying, I know he has Sparky, so if I go Knight the back, he will just Sparky the back. If I go Tesla, he'll probably just Sparky the back anyway, like, that's a fine play. Tesla's getting no value, so... I'm just gonna wait till double and go in, probably, like, I think that's my only play. I'm honestly comfortable waiting till double in this matchup against this dude, so... Let me get ready to expo once the game hits, about one minute and two. Oh, he goes barbs. Okay, I have to react and go Tesla instead. Um, was not expecting that. I thought I'd go like Sparky at the back, I guess. 
But this is going to be a pretty tough defense. I'll go archers in the right. Usually, guys, I always stack them in the middle. But the reason I'm doing this is because I know he has a fireball. So you could fireball the Tesla plus the archers, which I want to avoid if I can. I'm going to go in as well. I think this might be a pretty good lock opportunity because he just spent a lot of elixir on offense. Log as well. Oh, let's go. We caught him. He had no uh, elixir in time and he wasn't back to the barbs. That was a great punish by me. Great defense. Great punish. That just might be good game. That might be game winning damage. I can't believe it. How am I getting these miracle locks against this guy? Okay, I'm down like six right now. Um... Cannot defense effects with that. Sparky's too high. By the time it walks up, I think the defense effects will get no value. So I'm just going to Tesla instead. Knight, I have to Ice Spirit to tank a Sparky hit. Archers, I have to get back to uh, something to defend this. He's going to Arrows, right? Wait, did I lose? Um, He's going to Arrows after Knight now. Okay, never mind. I'm totally fine. Ice Spirit for the Sparky. I have to go Evil Archers, I think. Like, I can't let that Sparky have free reign. I'll go accidentally press the volume button. I'll go skeletons as well. No, the archers die. Oh, big giant misplay though. Oh my god. Look at these Evo Skellies guys. Look at them go. They're absolutely crazy. What in the world is happening? They beat the minion horde. I'm going to go in again because they literally are tanking for the expo right now. I have an entire set of undead skeletons tanking for the expo. They're going to help against the barbs too. Look at the sheer value of Evo Skeletons right now. This is why we play them in this deck. And that... We force out the fireball, we force out the arrows. That was like the, one of the biggest positive elixir trades I've ever seen in my life for one elixir. And that is pretty much going to seal the game. That is absolutely crazy. Now I'm totally comfortable just going defensive expo because I'm not down elixir anymore. I'm just going to chill. Ice Spirit Depression in front of my archer. He does go for the giant anyway, so it's fine. And it looks like we have this wraps, guys. As long as I don't choke somehow in triple, which I think I won't because I am honestly playing really well against this guy. Like when I saw this matchup at, for the first time when I reacted, I was like, why does he have fireball arrows? I'm going to lose this man but now i'm like actually playing well and somehow doing fine yeah that was a really nice lock and that was an amazing set of evo skeleton just now oh my god yeah just defensive expo honestly anti-fireball to my right side tower i think that's the best play right now it was giant all night i don't know how to like cycle here right now honestly because I don't want to give him too much value i like tesla the other side like this is a bit awkward but i think this is the setup i want to go for he fireballs a log okay that's a free fireball for sure on the three barbs and the sparky and the giant he gets back to a new giant but i have my skeletons ready to wreak havoc on his entire soul right now they're still going they're st they beat the arrows guys oh my god and they are still going and they forced out the minion horde because he was so scared of them this card is something else this is why we played in the deck again and that's a good game like there's no way he's breaking through with 20 seconds left with a huge elixir deficit actually like those skeletons were game changing yeah he's angry um, but that is so good for me, guys. Like, I played this defense so well, honestly. I can't believe I beat this guy twice. I feel like this matchup, maybe it's not as bad as I first thought, but honestly, like, on paper, I still feel like it's not the best. Anyways, though, GG's to this guy. Can't believe I beat him twice. That's gonna be 30 wins, guys. I can't believe I actually could have gotten GT emote, honestly. I'm like one or two wins away from the emote. If I just had more time, the tourney's about to end. I really was not expecting to make this, like, amazing of a run. Like, honestly, no words. This is just ama an amazing run right now, as attorney just ended and evil wallbreakers just dropped. Um, 30 is insane, dude. I can't believe it. Like, as you can see, still four minutes left in the tourney, but that's going to be the end of my tourney run. Like, honestly, I'm just at a loss for words, guys. I played out of my mind. So proud of this finish. I hope you guys are proud of me, too. Like, that is insane. So these are the games I played. As you can see, just five straight wins from 25 and four. Can't believe it. I lost some really tough ones, like RG... Pekka. I was playing Hoggy Q earlier because I feel like it's just a uh, fun. Like, I was just kind of playing for fun, honestly. And I can't believe I actually just went 20 and 1. Like, great start with Hoggy Q. And then Thrupano finish it off. And I was Thrupano for the full run on Legendary Pop. That's about it for the video, guys. Can't believe it. Amazing GT run. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. And I will see you in the next one.